Ya está, me record. Uh, se me había olvidado. A veces leyendo la primera parte y la final, uno puede tener como una idea de qué, de qué se va a tratar todo. Ok, wheat versus, wheat versus chaff. Uh, esto es read only the amount of text necessary to determine if a section presents the main idea or support for the main idea. Entonces esto es buscar entre lo que es lo importante y lo que no es tan importante. Uh, and then we have visual and verbal clues, which is watch for signal words and phrases that indicate the offers and offers direction. However, although, moreover, in addition to, and things to focus focus on while skimming is the introduction and the conclu conclusion, chapter sections and summaries, first and last sentences, titles, subtitles, and headings, bold words, charts, graphs, or pictures, and end of chapter review questions. So these are important when you want to skim. And skimming, all of this uh, can help you find the main idea of a text. So, okay, so when to or when not to skim. You do not skim when you're reading novels, poetry, or short stories. You do skim when you're reading nonfiction texts, such as textbooks, journals, articles, essays. Uh, yeah, and essays. Those are the ones that you're um, that are more suited for skimming. Uh, a skimming can also be a good tool for conducting research and writing papers. Cuando tengan que escribir un, un, eh, una investigación o algo, no puede. You cannot be, go and read different papers because it will take a lot of time. So you just skim around and look for the important parts. Cuando tengan que escribir, tienen que como que leer rápido, no, no rápido, pero ir saltándose partes y buscar lo más importante para cuando hagan una investigación. No pueden estar leyendo diferentes papers enteros, porque eso tomaría mucho tiempo. So this is, en esos puntos es when we use skimming. Uh, and skim text that you are more familiar with, when you know the topic or the main idea. Uh, let's see. Okay. Any questions about this? No? Okay. Acuérdense que you can ask. Uh, sí. Sí, es buscar la idea central del texto. Skimming. No, 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 it's not going to be that long. No, va a ser largo. So, yes, skimming is eh, buscar la, la idea central or the main idea. Y el punto es que no, uno no tenga que leer todo el texto, es eh, ir saltándose partes y buscar lo justo y necesario. That's the idea of skimming. Okay, no questions? Let's continue. Okay, so here we have an example and it's already highlighted. But just by reading the first sentence and the last sentence, we get an idea uh, what the rest of the text, what the text is about. So it says, a more likely scenario seems to be a combination of mass transit system for travel into and, into and around cities with small low emission cars for urban use and large hybrid or lean burn cars for use elsewhere. And then it says, electronically tow, toll highways might be used to ensure that drivers pay charges geared to actual road use. Better integration of transport system is also highly desirable and made more feasible by modern computers. But these are solutions for countries which can afford them. In most developing countries, old cars and old technologies continue to predominate. Entonces, what is not underlined, lo que no está eh, subrayado, Yeah, uh, es extra information. No es necesario todo eso como para, es un supporting sentence. Eh, eh, apoya la idea principal. But the main idea is talking about uh, a combination of mass transit system for travel uh, in and out of cities and with a low emission cars and for urban use and large hybrid and lean burn cars for use elsewhere. And then 
another important point is that in most developing countries, uh, these things don't work. Do you get the idea of what I'm, of what's the purpose of skimming? Because if you don't, you can ask and I can clear any doubts that you might have. Okay, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. <laughs> El texto no importa, este está difícil, sí. Está hablando de algo completamente diferente eh, sobre autos y, y cómo funciona el sistema de transporte, pero that doesn't matter. What matters is that at times, the main idea of the paragraph or the text can be found at the beginning and the end of, uh, of, of, of the text. Eso es lo que importa. Lo que importa es que la, la idea central puede ser encontrada al principio y al final eh, del texto. Eso es lo que trata de mostrar. Ok. We're going to practice with something much easier. Ok, ya. Yeah. Let's practice then. Vamos a We're going to put this to practice. Uh, it's... Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Okay. Here we go. Okay, so here we have a pros uh, a prospectus. Um, and we're gonna skim the text. So I'm gonna put it. Sí, sí, lo voy a subir en, en, en el modo. Lo voy a subir en el modo para que todos lo puedan tener y lo puedan ver al mismo tiempo. Porque estar bajando y eso a veces uno se pierde. Eh, denme un segundo. Aprovechen de... Vayan entrando al modo por mientras. Para que lo tengan. Ok, ahí lo subí. But we're going to do this, vamos a hacer una parte juntos, and then you're going to do the, the next part. Ok, so, uh, we're going to skim the text, and I want... Uh, no, that's not going to work. No, no va a funcionar porque es mucho. Okay, what I want to do is that you read uh, this uh, when you now we're going to read it together and then we're going to answer the questions down here. Okay, so uh, we have the Port Ham Village School 2014 2015 prospectus. So I'm going to start it says absence. It says illness. If your child is absent from school, you should telephone the school office on the first day. When he or she returns to school, uh, a written explanation about the nature of the illness must be provided so that the school records can be kept out of date, kept up to date. All medical and dentist appointments should be made outside school hours unless unavoidable. Can someone read the holiday part? Volunteers? Anyone? Yo lo leo, profe. Okay. Holidays. The Board of Gomer Governors state that annual holidays should not be taken during them time. Although Although, yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, at the discretion of the head teacher, we will take up to the two, two weeks of school. It's possible. 
this should be avoided. Mm -hmm. Avoided. As it is important that children do not miss out of their education. Okay, very good. Uh, can someone continue on school uniforms? Okay, go ahead. Um, it is not compuls compulsory for children to wear school uniforms. Andrew, uh, it is strongly, strongly mm -hmm. encouraged, encouraged so encouraged. That, the children, that the children feel part of the school community. And the boys, boys should wear blue uh, shirts, shirts mm -hmm. long or short uh, sleeves. ¿Cómo se dice? Sleeve. Sleeve. With gray trousers and the school jumper. Mm -hmm. They should wear the blue and gray striped school ties at all times. The girls uh, should wear gray pinafores with white blouses and the school jumper. <coughs> um, footwear and accessories. All children should wear black school shoes. shoes at no time must they wear trainers. Girls may wear suits, which must be removed for a physical education. <laughs> okay, very good. And the last one. Can someone read the last one? This one right here. Yo lo leo, profe. Okay, go ahead. Extracurricular activities. There is a wide range of clubs for all children according to the age. Children may attend football, ballet, swimming. Children in years one to seven may mm -hmm. also attend the following clubs, archery, tennis, and French. Okay, very good. Uh, so now, any questions about the text? Algo que no entendieron or something you're not sure about. Para que podamos hacer el skimming. Illness, enfermedades. Ya. Yeah. Okay, so now, at the end, no sé si lo descargaron dead model or you, you haven't uh, downloaded? Bueno, si lo descargaron, there's some questions at the end. Here. So now you have to skim over the text and answer the questions at the bottom. Yes. Entonces tienen que eh, ir, tienen que leer la pregunta y tratar de buscarlo lo más rápido O sea, no lo más rápido posible, pero eh, ir, ir como directo a eso. That's what you have to do. So you have to answer these questions, but do not read the whole text again. Just go right to the point. I'm going to give you a couple minutes to do it but it shouldn't take more than five minutes because if you're skimming, uh, it should be something fast.
Eh, aim significa como que está... Eh, ah. Sí, es como el objetivo. Como, sí, el objetivo. O está apuntado. Apuntado también puede ser. Did you guys finish? Or are you still working? Oh no, okay. Las que están al final, de las 7 a las 10, la mayoría son, eh, you have to say yes or no. No tienen que escribir oraciones. Okay, Sandra's ready. What about the rest? Okay. Okay, get us also done. What about the rest? Is everyone done? You guys should be done by now. It shouldn't take that long. Are we done then? Listo? Okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Ahí la vamos a ver. Okay, so what did you guys put for number one? Parents, okay, very good, yes. So it's aimed at parents. Uh, what about number two? Will you use the prospectus to 
find directions, find out what time school opens, find about school uniforms. Find about the school uniforms. Very good. Okay, here, as well as illness, which uh, which issue does the absence section deal with? What else does it talk about? Okay, very good. Holidays. Holidays. Does, this, does the prospectus give details about the curriculum? Yes or no? Yes? No, I think it's a no. No, it doesn't. It doesn't give uh, uh, about the curriculum. That's a no. Can you find out about school clubs from this perspective? Prospectus. True or false? <laughs> true, yes, it is true. Uh, you can. It's in the last part. True. Uh, this prospective tells parents about issues of bullying. True or false? Okay, very good. False. Does the prospective prospectus give parents information about school examinations? Yes or no? Okay, no. Does it, does it tell parents how to purchase secondhand uniforms? Yes. Does everyone say? I don't think it tells you how to buy secondhand uniforms. It tells you about the uniform. Ah, que son entendido. Secondhand uniforms son uniformes usados. No, it's okay, it's okay. Second hand es cuando está, esta expresión es cuando algo está usado. De segunda mano. That's what it means. So no, it doesn't. Uh, does it tell you about school lunches? Yeah, it doesn't, it talks about something else about uniforms, but it doesn't give you information about secondhand uniforms. So no, it doesn't say anything about lunches. Very good. What happened? Okay. No, uh, and does the prospectus give you telephone number if you want, if number to call your child if he is or she is ill? True or false? False, okay. Okay, okay, false, very good. Okay, so see, that's the point of this, of skimming. It's that here we had a set of questions and you knew it, it's asking you a specific question. So uh, the one about uh, secondhand uniforms. So, okay, so the question says, does the perspective tell you parent, tells parents how to purchase secondhand uniforms? You go up to the reading, you look for uniform and you just read really quickly to see if you see secondhand uniform. And if it's not there, then no, it's, it's, es un no. Para eso sirve skimming, es para ir por detalles específicos. Si es que está relacionada a una pregunta, si es que eh, están haciendo una investigación y quieren saber sobre el tema, si quieren encontrar algo que esté relacionado al tema que estén investigando, ahí tienen que hacer skimming and try to find keywords tienen que buscar palabras claves que estén relacionadas a lo que están buscando. En vez de estar leyendo todo el, eh, todo, todo el artículo. That's the whole point of skimming. Any questions about that? About this? No? Okay. Yo personalmente siento que enseñar skimming por internet no es lo mejor, but uh, that's the only way. Es más fácil en presencial, porque estar leyendo y entre estar, entre estar subiendo y bajando y todo eso se, se hace un poco complicado. But yes, se hace lo que puede. <laughs> okay, if there are no more questions about this, 
Uh, okay, we're gonna look at something else. We're gonna look at the second part of today's class, which is scanning. What do you think scanning might be? Okay, yeah, suena como escanear. Sí, significa escanear. That's, that's correct. It's, it's that word. And yes, that is what basically you're gonna do uh, when reading a text, you're gonna scan it. So, eh, déjenme explicársela. So scanning, scanning is we look for a specific fact or piece of information without reading everything. So skip, es diferente skimming, porque aquí estamos buscando specific facts. Skimming era para, eh, it was to find main ideas. And this one is to find uh, a specific facts or piece of information without reading everything. Uh, you need to understand how your material is structured as well as, uh, as well as comprehend what you read so you can locate the specific information. Scanning also allows you to find details and other information in a hurry. So here it's when you're in a hurry, cuando estás muy apurado y necesitas buscar algo, uh, you scan. But if you're uh, looking for main ideas or uh, specific uh, things, as we saw before, uh, you skim. So how to scan? You start scanning a text by allowing your eyes or finger to move quickly over a page. Entonces, usan el dedo. You use your finger to move around the page, and, and that's how you scan. And as soon as your eye catches an important word or phrase, stop reading. And when you locate the information requiring attention, then you slow down to read the relevant section more thoroughly. So you do scanning when you are in a dictionary. Cuando no es el diccionario, someone does scanning when you're looking for a specific word, right? No van leyendo página por página. Van a la página que esté, eh, a la que esté cercana a la palabra, donde uno, usted, uno puede, piense que puede estar la palabra en el diccionario, un diccionario eh, físico, sino el diccionario, eh, un diccionario online. Y, y después va con el dedo así bajando y buscando la palabra, lo más rápido posible hasta que la encuentra. Uh, that's when you do scanning. A ver, when else? Bueno, esto se lo voy a explicar en español. Antiguamente, cuando llegaba la... Eh, ¿Cómo se llaman estas cosas? Eh, el, no sé si es un directorio, pero como el libro ese grueso que mandaban antes la compañía de teléfono, cuando estaba telefónica, eh, con los números de todos, la gente que vivía en Arica, y si uno quería buscar un teléfono, tenía que hacer scanning por el apellido de la persona. So that's a, another uh, option, that, that's another example uh, when you do scanning. I don't know if you guys ever did that. ¿Alguna vez hicieron eso? Or are you too young? Son muy jóvenes. Para, lo, eh, para el libro ese de cuando llegaban todos los números de teléfono. What, di what didn't you understand? ¿Qué no entendía, Sandra? ¿El libro? Ah, ok. <laughs> Eso la tiene como 10. Yes. Ya, yes. yes, sí. Antiguamente, no sé hasta qué, no sé hasta qué año ha sido, pero siempre llegaba el, el libro. Y sí, se tenía al lado del teléfono, porque si necesitaba buscar algo, no, si, tenía que tenerlo al lado del teléfono. Y si buscaba un teléfono de alguien, usualmente si buscaba el, el de un pariente, iba por el apellido, iba a la sección donde estaba la, la letra con la que empezaba el apellido, y ahí se ponía a buscar. <laughs> but yes, that's what you did uh, back in the day. Yeah, because, yeah, that and that was scanning. Eso era scanning, como dice Kiara. That was scanning, just going really fast and looking for the uh, phone number in the phone book. And that was scanning. 
or maybe now in el diario, you can also do scanning if you're looking for a specific news. Or quizá en la parte donde, sale, donde uno busca trabajo, en el diario también hay, you can do scanning there. It's 17 hours. Okay. And yes, in a dictionary, you can also do scanning. You go, uh, you quickly look for a word. Do you see the difference? ¿Ven la diferencia entre skimming y scanning? Sí, okay. So for skimming, it's looking for main ideas. Scanning is look for specific information. Lo que hicimos recién en el, en el prospectus, era, yo creo que era más scanning que skimming. It wasn't too much about uh, skimming, era más scanning. Because you were looking for a uh, specific information that was related to uh, to the questions. You always do, okay, that's good. That's good, see, ¿Sí? cuando uno busca, cuando busca datos o números o estadística, that's when you do uh, scanning, yeah. Pero si están leyendo un, una novela o algo que sea ficción, that's, you, you cannot do scanning there. <laughs> yeah, you probably, yeah, when they send you papers and stuff, you always have to do skimming and scanning to like find whatever uh, they're asking you to look for. A veces se hacen inconscientemente. Okay, so here we have, um, we're going to practice. So you scan each row. And you have to scan each row and look for the ones that are the same. Las que se parecen tienen que buscar. So in the first one, tenemos into and into. Now here you have to look for being. No sé si pueden usar el lápiz. Y quizá ustedes lo pueden ir marcando. Okay, you say first one and, okay, first one and fourth one. Okay, the first one and four. What about the third one? Which words back? La tercera, not the first one. It says a black. What about must? <laughs> the second one, yes. Must is the second one. And then The second one, the very good. And way. Where's way? Okay, the first one, and yeah. And the first one, yeah, this has to be really fast. Tiene que ser rápido. Out. Which one's out? La última, la última, very good, yeah. Thank you, Guillera, for marking it. Oh. Okay, Guillera has it. I know, Carla, Carla, I think Carla did it. Okay, with. Segunda, okay, thank you, Carla. And the last one, over. Over, very good, yes. And the last one, very good. So that's scanning. It's just looking really fast for the word that, uh, that you have in mind. Very good. Uh, let's see. Okay, now it's your turn to practice. Uh, let's go to the English booklet. And we're gonna practice uh, scanning. So page page twenty four, I think. Page twenty three. Twenty three or twenty four. On page twenty four, twenty four. Let's see. Ah, okay, okay. Here we go. Page 24. Okay, so here on page 24, we have a, a newspaper and you have to scan the classified ads and answer the questions. Work as quickly as you can. So here we have the questions. <laughs> here we have the questions and you have to scan really quickly uh, for the for the answers in the in the image. 
If not, you're going to die. So you have to do it really quickly. And you're, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you three minutes, tres minutos, para hacer esto. For you guys to find the answer. Because if we're scanning, it should be fast. Are you guys ready? Okay, okay. Va a abrir el libro primero. Abran el libro. Get your books and then and you can start doing it. Twenty four, twenty four. Tres minutos to do it. A las cinco, nueve paramos. So it should be really fast uh, to find the answers for this. Okay, did you guys finish? Oh, why are you ready to do it? Yes, okay. Okay, Kiara is done. What about the rest? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, we're going to begin checking. Okay, uh, so uh, how many bicycles are for sale? Two. 
two. Okay, two. Oops. So there are two bicycles for sale. Uh, what is the price for the 21 inch TV and VCR? 350. How many dogs were found? One dog. Were any cats found? One, okay, one cat. Where was the camera lost? Near University Road. What is the what is the price for English lessons in your home? Uh, 20 an hour. Uh, what is the telephone number for the Chinese lessons? Okay, yes, what Sandra said. Okay. Uh, oh, who's, yeah. Uh, what does the new class for singing lessons, when does the new class for singing lesson begin? In June. Very good. And how much is the reward for the lost keys? How much is the reward? Guys, this should be fast. No reward? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is a reward. Yes, 25. $25. ¿Cuál es la recompensa para para la persona que encontró las llaves? $25 up here. And the last one, where was the piano made? Where was the piano made? Germany, yes. Uh, very good. Okay, so yeah, that's the point of uh, scanning. It's to find information quickly. What did you, decía Rusia en algún lado? Did it say Russia somewhere? I don't think so. Ahí dice que de las clases de piano eran de la profesora rusa. Es la penúltima. Ah, ya. Yeah. Piano, ya. Yeah. Piano station from Russia, ya. Yeah. No, esto está preguntando dónde se había hecho el piano. Where was the piano made? In Germany. Okay, very good. Um, so you guys, you guys get the idea, right? Of scanning and skimming and how it works. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, so now I need you to download the second, uh, el, segundo, el segundo documento que subí, the second document that I uploaded. Uh, it's called Skimming and Scanning Practice in Edmodo. Uh, this one, el primero que subí. I need you to download that. Se ve así. And there are, uh, there are five questions, one about skimming and four about scanning. So you're gonna skim the text for the main idea, and then you're gonna scan the text for specific information. The text is about lactose intolerance. Entonces tienen que skim para la idea principal y scanning de, inf de información específica. Are you guys ready? 
¿Lo tienen? Sí, ok. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. No debería tomar más de 10 minutos. So, hasta las 5.25. Si no, antes. Es espero que sea antes. So, uh, begin skimming and begin skimming because that's the first question. What is the meaning of the text? And then you scan. If you have any questions, you can uh, ask me. Okay. Remember that for skimming, it has to be a sentence. Tiene que ser una oración la respuesta. And for scanning, pueden ser palabras. That's good. I we're gonna check soon. Has anyone else finished? Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. 
Uh, two more minutes, two minutos más, to see if the rest uh, has finished. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so what do you guys put for the first one? When you skim, what is the main idea of this text? What do you guys think is the main idea? Okay, yes, it's about lactose intolerance, but what else? What else is the text telling us? Lactose intolerance again, como el topic. But the main idea of the whole text, de los tres párrafos, la idea principal. Una parte sí, es sobre lactose intolerance. Okay, treatment symptoms. Okay. Okay, what it causes, how it's caused. Okay, very good. Yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah, okay, let's see. Okay, so lactose intolerance is the inability to digest milk, sugar, milk sugar, is common in those of African and Asian descent and causes a number of physical ailments. So you guys were correct. Estaban bien. Sobre eso de lactose intolerance, eh, ocurre, en, ocurre en adultos. Yeah, it happens in adults. But to be more specific, para ser más específico, you guys could have said that it mostly happens in Africans and, and Asians. Porque aquí dice que, viendo el porcentaje, only 5 to 15% of adults of European descent uh, cannot digest lactose, but 80 to 90% of adults in Africa and Asia are lactose intolerance. And the symptoms uh, that it causes the ailments. Ailments también son... Eh, Como symptoms, and their symptoms also. So very good. See, you guys did good. Estaban bien. Tenían la idea, la idea principal de que era. Les faltó eso del African and Asian descent, but that's okay. Okay. And for scanning, at what age do we lose the ability to synthesize lactose? Lactose, creo que era. Okay, age six, very good. And what percentage of African and Asian descent adults cannot digest lactose? 80% to 90%, very good. And what is the main symptom of lactose intolerance? Okay, gastrointestinal upset. And what is the best treatment against lactose intolerance? Ingesting lactose, okay, ingesting lactose supplements. Okay, very good. Very good, yes. Acuérdense, para cuando es scanning, no es necesario escribir oraciones. Solamente la, lo que se está pidiendo. Eh, what percentage? Me dan el percentage. 80, 90. Uh, queda the age, age 6. ¿Qué es el best treatment? Los ingesting lactose supplements. Algo cortito. No, 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 no. Tengo una duda. ¿Cuál es su duda? En la 2 pregunta de los porcentajes de los africanos uh -huh. y de los asiáticos que no tienen el que no pueden... problema, entonces, sí. que no lo tienen. Eh, uh, dice que no, digest, uh, 
Ah, ya, ya, yo la escribí mal. Escribí mal yo la pregunta. Pero sí, era... Uh, ¿Cómo dice? Me parece. Ah, no, pues eso está bien. Sí, no, sí está bien. Well, ah, only yeah. 5 to 20% of adults of European descent cannot digest. It... Sí, sí está bien. Sí, sí, sí. sí está Había bien. leído el cannot arriba. Sí, es que dice que acá está diciendo que de 5 a 15% de los europeos adultos no pueden. Y acá está diciendo que los 80 a 90 de los adultos africanos y asiáticos descendientes son intolerantes a la lactosa. Que es lo mismo, que no pueden dig dig eh, digestir, digerirla. ¿Digerirla? I think digerir. That's right digerir, yeah. Sí, entonces, eh, para scanning, frases cortitas, o lo más corto posible para scanning. Es directo al punto. Y skimming, ahí sí son oraciones, para decir la, el main idea of a text. If you got confused, si, si, si se confundieron. Okay. Any other questions? Alguna pregunta más? Duda? Okay. No more questions. Um, I think that's it. Sí, creo que, o sea. Yes, that was it for skimming and scanning. Their reading skills son, les, va, les va a servir, no necesariamente en inglés, en español también les sirven, y lo más probable es que ya lo hagan inconscientemente. But when you have to read articles or papers or things like that, this can help a lot. Imagino que al final de la carrera tienen que escribir una tesis, ¿o no? ¿Ustedes se hace eso en enfermería o es diferente? Ok, sí. Yes. Entonces cuando tengan que buscar artículos y papers sobre lo que van a escribir, eh, ahí skimming y scanning le va a servir mucho, porque no van a estar poder, no van a poder leer todos los artículos. Se lo digo de experiencia, yo cuando hice mi tesis no, no iba a estar leyendo todo, iba saltándome partes, buscando lo, lo que necesitaba, lo justo y preciso nomás, que necesitaba para escribir mi tesis. That's when you're going to use it uh, most of the time. No, no, no copy and paste. Igual hay que cambiar, al menos que sea un quote, al menos que sea un, estén citando a alguien. Ahí sí. But if, if, if you're not uh, quoting someone, do not copy and paste. Eh, and yeah, that's it. Ah, la tarea. La tarea, la tarea, la tarea, la tarea. Denme un segundito. Um, déjeme mostrarle el documento este. Okay, let's see. Okay, so do you guys remember this? ¿Se acuerdan de esto? Que hicimos este graphic organizer sobre la lectura del the human body. Okay, so now what you have to do is finish the rest. Tienen que terminar con el resto. Aquí van los sistemas, the systems. And then you have to divide uh, the functions and see what goes in each uh, thing, in each space. It should be easy. No creo que debería ser difícil. No les di pistas como le había dado acá. Because it should be simple. No debería ser muy difícil. Eh... Pares, 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 pares. En pares. Okay. Eh, no, no para el lunes. Yo creo que para el próximo miércoles, en un, una semana. Does that sound good? Yo les voy a subir las instrucciones al. Eh, ¿Dónde se fue? Le voy a subir las la instrucciones ahí en el modo. Y les voy a dejar el link del artículo. Creo que igual se lo subí la clase pasada. Pero se los voy a volver a subir. El link del artículo y ustedes tienen que eh, rellenar lo que falta. Si es que, si es que eh, se, se, no, no encuentran todo o, o no están seguros, el lunes me pueden preguntar. 
podemos aclarar dudas sobre esto. Pero acá van dos sistemas. Entonces aquí tenemos el nervous system y después el, el texto hablaba sobre dos sistemas más. Y ahí tienen que ir completando. Any questions? Questions? No question? Eh, no. Lo que voy a hacer, eh, usted, ya ustedes lo hacen y todo, después lo, lo convierten a PDF. Y lo que yo voy a hacer, voy a abrir una asignación en, en, en el modo. Lo, lo, lo tienen que entregar por el modo, así se me hace más fácil para revisar a mí, porque esto de la rúbrica y estar haciendo grupos de chat para mandársela en el modo fue... Me consumió harto tiempo. Entonces, pero si lo hago en, en una asignación en el modo, eh, se hace más fácil porque ahí me lo mandan directo. Y después yo le devuelvo con el puntaje que se sacaron, en vez de estar mandándolo por mensaje. Pero ahí, ahí lo van a ver. Y el lunes se lo explico. ¿Ok? Ok. So, if there are no more questions, uh, you're free to go. Terminamos un poquito antes hoy día. You're free to go.